Hey, Kevin, in the, oh, I'm sorry, I'll wait till you're finished. No, I don't. <laughs> in the fourth quarter, uh, were you just figuring out what they had done through the first three, or were you making an active, uh, an active intent to be more aggressive in the fourth quarter and look for your shot more? Uh, I think, I think um, early on, I missed a lot of looks, good looks. I mean, confident, um, no shots of fall going forward. Um, but yeah, I just, I think every game is different. I never know how teams going to guard me or how they're going to try to take away my actions and my sets. You've seen a lot of, when I got a ball out top, guys coming and rushing and double, I wasn't prepared for that. Um, you know, so I got to, you know, figure stuff out as the game goes on and kind of learn on the fly. And I thought the fourth quarter shots went down. I caught it in my spots and was able to knock some, uh, knock some shots in, but yeah, I'm, I'm always trying to figure out um, how I'm going to be aggressive out there. I mean, it seemed like in the third quarter, you guys had your defense together and it was and it was creating offense to get that 16 point lead. But when they made the run to close the quarter, what what do you feel uh, got away from you there? Yeah, they, they I think those two threes by Fournier, I think, really got them going and. Um, we helped too much a little bit on both of those and gave up threes. And I think we were helping a lot in the paint tonight and they kicked out and made shots at timely threes. I know they didn't make a lot of them, but I felt like they made some timely threes and, um, you know, but for the most part, you know, we, I think we did a solid job defensively of just being there and trying to contest. Kevin, what did you, uh, what did you see from James tonight and how aggressive he was? Yeah, good start. You know, when you start the game off, scoring the basketball, that just opens it up for everybody. And tonight, he was one of it was one of those nights for him. And then you see in the second half, um, it was able to get the rest of the team going. So um, he put together a great game tonight, playing thirty nine minutes, and you know, eleven for twenty, efficient. You know, what I mean, five turnovers, but you know, nine and eight assists, trying to make stuff happen. He was great tonight. Kevin, you played um forty one minutes today in the middle here. Um and guard Julius a lot. You've been playing more minutes than you've had in a bunch of years. Um, how do you feel? And is this something you think you can kind of keep up throughout, throughout the year? I'm a basketball player. I enjoy to play. Like, I want to play 48 minutes. Like, you know, that's 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 just what it is. And, you know, I know a lot of people are – I don't even know if they're concerned or not. <laughs> you know, I, th I just think that's just a conversation to have. Like, I'm playing more minutes and I'm coming off injury and all this other stuff, but I like to play. Like – you know, if, if I can convince coach to play me the whole second half sometimes and or put me in earlier in quarters, I'm going to do it every game. It don't matter, you know. So it's my basketball life, life is not that long, so I want to get the most out of it. Do you try to do that sometimes? Uh, yeah, last game I did when played Phoenix to play me the whole second half, and he did. And tonight he just threw me in there early in the fourth. Uh, I didn't ask him, but I'm sure I'm a, for the rest of the season I'm going to try to, you know, sneak some of those – you know, 40 plus mini games in because shit, I I like being out there. Can I get to just that last possession where James had the James Johnson had the two icing free throws? Just you know, you you had Randall on you won the clock then just what, what were you looking for there? I wanted a one-on-one -on -one situation to go just go get a bucket, but you know, I seen D Rose creeping and if I went into my move, I think he would have just jumped me. So I just try to be patient and wait for it to open up and James you know came you know available and, and Went down the lane. I mean, I'm, he had a lot of numbers too. Patty was open in the corner, and Lamarcus was under the rim, and you know, but he uh, he was aggressive enough to the rim and was able to knock those free throws down. It's a huge play. And then just for your three point attempts per game, it's it's the lowest you've had in about ten, like I think 2012, 13 season. Just I'm curious what you make of that and why you think that might be. Yeah, I mean, more teams are keying in on three point line. You know, the last few years, you know, you analytics say that three-point shots and layups are the shots that you want. So defenses now are catered to stopping the three-pointer. And so for me, um, you know, I'm guys are not leaving me to go help in the pick and roll or go help at the rim. You know, they let somebody else deal with that while they kind of face guard me. So I'm not getting a lot of catch and shoot opportunities. Um, but I got five threes up tonight, and I feel like I should have made all five of them, you know. So um, that's pretty much in my, in my wheelhouse, four to five threes, and the rest is, you know, I could still put up points without shooting threes. Your shot wasn't falling early, but the fourth quarter, last five minutes, you were, you know, connecting pretty well. Did you think they were going to let you shoot on the last shot or did you expect <laughs> that double was coming? You know, coaches told me to be ready for it. And I seen it at the end of, I seen it at the end of the third or, 
just a few times I had it out top. They were bringing a couple, you know, they're shadowing over the guy, using the guy to help guard. Um, but it's risky to do that in the fourth. I mean, the last shot of the game, you know, um, and yeah, I was prepared for it coming out of timeout. My teammates and coaches made sure that we knew that might be an option for him. On the uh, jumper that you hit before that, um, one where Julius got the technical, could you take us through that play? Just how did that play? Which one was that? Uh, it was. Did I cross? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Mid range. And... Yeah. I mean, um, Julius is a great contester. I mean, he he jumps as high as he can and contest my shots. And, you know, so I knew if I could get some movement and some minimum momentum into my move, I'll knock it down. But it's a good play. And I just try to, you know, go back to my fundamentals and knock it down. Kevin, I know you're a student of the game and, and being around you, you talk a lot about what coaches throw at you defensively and you try to study and anticipate that. What do you expect from a Thibodeau defense? Does he give you different looks all the time? Because you talked about tonight they throw some double teams at you early, but then look like at the end of the game they started sending to you a little bit late. Yeah, I mean, um, uh, I mean, it's a copycat league. I mean, you watch you watch how other teams play us, and I'm sure you coach the staff and they're watching film on the best ways to get the ball out of my hands. And, you know, so – you see when we take the ball aside out of bounds, um, you see a guy sometimes sitting in my lap, then there's another guy behind me sometimes or a guy digging. So I got to figure out back screens and coming off of pin downs and handoffs and playing off the ball a little bit more. And so T Tibbs is just unpredictable and he'll make an adjustment in the middle of a game and his team will follow it and execute it. So you got to get him credit. Is it ever anything you've never seen? Uh, I've pretty much seen it all at this point now. Boxing two, and, I mean, uh, boxing two, uh, trying on two, boxing one, zones, you know, pick, picking up full court, face garden, shadowing me with two people. You know, I've seen it all. I mean, I think every great scorer in this league has seen different schemes being thrown at them, especially when you play deep in the playoffs like I have. So, and I'm still figuring out the balance of shooting over some of that stuff and making the correct play. And, you know, it's all a timing thing. So that's the beauty of the game. And that's why I feel like I'm still a student.